Hello guys. Okay, well, I am back again to do the next part. Um, what I've done, you can probably see it actually. I better flip that up. I don't want that to. Um, I've just done backing stitch, like back stitch to do the wings and all that kind of stuff. Um, just to hold that down, I need to do a lot more. Where are we? Um, stitches and stuff on there. Where is it? Here it is. Um, we're going to be doing, because I've got this on there, it looks a little bit different, but I, want, I need to do a lot more of these little stitches along here. So, okay. So, what I'm going to do today is I've done the feet um, and I've done one side. And I've used this wool here. Um, what colour is this one? So if you just get some wool, I can't remember what this one is called. Colour Murray. There you go. Um, now I've got used this bit of this grey for the actual little claw parts, and here's the um, the beak. It really has given it, you know, I just used that brownie colour. What a, I, sort of, I was going to use this grey colour, but I ended up using um, sort of more of the, can I use that one? Sort of a brownie grey, because it just matched a little bit better, but it's really 3D and it gives it good texture. Um, I just stitched that down, as you can see here. All you needed to do was just grab a little bits and pieces and stick that down. Okay, I've been quite a little busy beaver today. Um, I'm filming this in the evening, but today I actually did patterns for four more. I did a fox, and what else? I did a baby rabbit, a fox, and a frog. So I've got I'm just doing patterns and stuff ahead of time, and the fox is um i always surprise myself it actually turns out a lot so I'm just in the pattern phase at the moment which is this and then um you know i've got to um, put them together like that so what we do with this is we get this and i will use that i pull it through here and what i did with this is you've got your where are we I traced them onto just some of the paper and I just rubbed um, some, just put some like you know stuff like that on there and then put it onto here and sort of drew just a little bit. You can't really get over the top of this because it's quite chunky and then um, sort of got a, a small indication of what it was but yeah it just it's basically three long ovals put together really so what I'm going to do is starting it there um, so I'll go in there like that how does that look it's a bit shorter the reason why I put that over there is because the paper is quite shiny and it feels really slippery this is the thread that I used to put that on there and I've kept just put it up there and kept it in because I'm going to do more stuff with it so we just pull that through and then it's basically like a a um not a stem stitch a satin stitch that I just put a couple of these through get quite tricky when you're using thicker wool so you just sort of usually it's about five together ends up being about that okay and then the last one ends up a little higher And then the next one goes a little bit next to that. So leave that there. Then we get the brown. Managed to thread them up this time round. 
and I get the brown and we just go across all of them like that which is couching but it's couching on the, the lot and you probably need to go over that about five times got a fairly evenly spaced she says as she puts it too close together <laughs> I need to go a little closer together. These ones seem a little smaller. Across. And then go over the top. And then we're going to come down halfway. We're going to need to have a bit of the fabric, a um, bit of the brown in the middle to define the middle okay then we do the same it's a little bit like a bee really do the same on the other side come halfway down go in the hole from on the top and That is one foot now. Leave that in there because we'll need that again. This is where it becomes a little bit tricky. Okay, so we've got a bit of a spot in between. Now we're starting again. Using it as a guide. It's quite thick here. So this one's a little bit harder than it was on the other side. Ugh. Jeez, I'm not winning. Okay, here we go. I might have to get another bit of thread. Okay. Um, okay. Pull that tight. Trying to pull it tight, and I think it's pulling it out. Oh, that must be the first one. No. Oh, really? I'm just going to pause it. Uh, you know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to um, pull it a little bit tighter. So I want to pause that so you don't have to see me fiddle with it. Back again. The moment you turn the camera off, everything goes okay. So uh, I've got that sitting there. I think it might be enough to do the last. I'll just see how I go once again. Oh, put that on. Go over it. Probably doesn't hurt to pull it a little bit tighter because you can't see the mark in between. Okay, 
Okay. Giddy. Okay. One over the top. And one here. Then we do it on the side. Hopefully you can sort of see what I'm doing here. To get a bit of the... Okay. Now put that back over there again and then hopefully we can do the last one out now yeah. I mean it's great because it's wool it gives it a nice thick amounts but it's just hard to work with sometimes okay I think we will have enough to finish doing this on me. My hands are a bit slippery. <laughs> oh, good grief. Okay. that off pull that out and then we'll come back with this on the bottom Gives it a bit of definition when you do the the brown over the top. And now this way. And then the last one over the top. And that goes in the middle. Okay. Oop. I think that one was a little shorter than I would have liked. Oh well, pull these apart a bit. It's going over the top. And then one more here. There, and we're going to do... A little bit on the bottom to get it ready to put the claws in okay and then on the last one okay now so work this off the little details that make these things look good. Okay. Okay. That's all we've got left of that. It's not too much. And I've even been really good and managed to 
it is. Now, what we do need to do is they're like little triangles. So we sort of start at here and then we sort of go into a little point and then fill it in. So we come out here. Now, yeah, I really do need this to sit down a little bit. Okay. Go down. And then we come out here. Hopefully you can see. stand up for this part okay see so yeah, how I've got it pointed into a bit of a triangle like that there then you just fill it in hopefully We'll just fill in. Yep. There we go. It's a bit wider than what I would have liked. On the top, I might go through and pull them together a tad just to make it not so wide oh, nothing is ever easy when you're on camera I can tell you oh. okay you know what this is way too fluffy I know it is annoying to cut this down, but I'm going to because it's just too fluffy and I can't do enough of the stitching along there. Sometimes it just needs a haircut. Okay. Oh, my husband just came in and gave me a cup of tea, which was good. Okay. Now we might be able to get somewhere with this. Okay. I think we're pretty right with that one. Pretty thick. Now this one might be able to do a bit better of a, a V shape. Okay, coming from the edge. And you just keep filling in until it starts to look like Don't seem quite long enough. The talons need to be a little longer. Okay. 
bit of trouble when you're going over the thick fluffy stuff it just requires a little bit more extra work and then over the top go across okay now third time's the charm okay in the middle on the edge It'll be so hard for you guys to see any of this. I'm really sorry. Okay. Uh, supposed to be making it look like it's enjoyable, but sometimes I make it <laughs> look painful. Because sometimes it is. <laughs> but the old saying, good things come to those who wait and have a bit of patience. Okay. Now, this end one here seriously needs fixing. Okay, now this one. The last two have turned out okay, but the end one looks a bit munted or whatever you want to call it <laughs> been hanging around my kids too long now I'm going to go back to that last one and give it a bit more of a point I think is what it needs okay here we go Doesn't look terrible at all. <laughs> she says with bated breath. Okay. Now, there we go. It's got its little talons. That's um. Okay, you can sort of have a little bit of a look what it looks like. There you go. The sort, it's a bit hard to see. Probably need to have a bit of a haircut, but you know what I mean. You can see that it looks like it's got little legs. Now, the next bit, I think it probably needs a bit of an eye in it. Looks like it's sticking up. Um, but that's where I'm going to put what I'd like you to do for your homework. That's why I've got the needles here and I'll probably work a little bit more on that. Um, it isn't easy because it is so thick. Um, but I don't want to fiddle with it and make it worse if you know what I mean. So what we're going to do is we're going to get a bit of a pencil. This one's nice and sharp I'm hoping. Where's the other one? And then these oh, days seem to be winging. <laughs> oh, good lord! Oh. Okay. And how hard is it to do that? Now, this is where this comes in. I think sometimes you guys must laugh your head off at me and my antics. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, just... Draw in a couple of little bits and pieces that need doing. Okay. 
a bit like any of you guys who did my um, the rabbit that time where I did all those stripes and all that kind of stuff and this is going to be the same a bit feathery and then just draw it in with a pencil and then we come back in and it's just little flicks just to get you started and I'll be going up and over if you know what I mean now if I remember correctly this little guy had quite the stripes going across here along the side I mean even though it's only with pen at the moment you can sort of see where I'm going with this okay now they're coming up from here quite a lot and you want to make it look feathery so you can you sort of can you see where I'm coming from you can just sort of see it but you just follow the guidelines of the, the thing and I'm going to do similar similar lines on here um, because it had it's a bit like the red robin that I did um, it actually has got a sort of like a creamy colour marks on its um, chest here, feathers going all sorts of ways. And then this, um, I won't do this with pencil because you won't see it, but then, then there was these type of marks which I might just draw in and they were lighter colour. So just and maybe some more down here some going that way okay he looks rather cute I must say but definitely and I'll probably have some bits and pieces so there you go so that's your homework do the little bits and pieces here and that's going to go over there um, yeah he's got quite a lot of feathers everywhere here so that's where the work's going to be and make him look a little bit more owly um, yeah so the color I'll probably use on that one um, I might use, I need something probably not as dark as that, um, it was sort of like a brownie, brownie creamy colour, I may end up using this one on the, on the whole lot of it, or maybe even that one, maybe the same colour as the beak, these two colours maybe, and then I want to say some of that maybe. Because I think these ones are probably a little bit too large. Definitely it might have to be that yellow. There you go. So that's the homework. And in the next one, probably do a couple of little um, more leaves. Yeah, do some more going that way. Can you see that? There you go. 
looks pretty cool so once you've um, it's amazing what it looks like and then see how that's sort of puffed up that'll go back down quite a bit okay guys well thank you very much and I will catch you in the next one where I'll show you um, and all that is is you just follow the line and do all these little straight stitches and you know use you can even use for some of the feathery bits um, quite thin threads you know so I'll see what it looks like with those how that works out and um, I'm probably going to use this color actually which is this one on there rather than using white because I, I sort of want to stay clear from the white I just wanted the white in the highlight but I really love how he's looking he's looking rather cute and I think all those extra colors will really make it come alive okay guys I'll show you in the next one where a lot of this stuff will be done and I'll probably do a little bit with you at the end thanks for watching bye